the great thing about these old thermoses is they come apart. And I can use Mother's Mag on the aluminum. Boy, that's going to shine up nice. Let's see if I can... Let's, I'm hoping it's not fused. Oh. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ooh. It's just aluminum. Boy, that's going to be pretty. Oh, man. This is how they made them. Beautiful vacuum glass. Oh, that's sticky. It's, oh, that's sticky and gross around there. I can't wait to wash that. This we're just going to do some soap and water. Maybe some vinegar. We're going to have to sterilize the inside. Very nice, though. It looks so much better than the picture. Very nice. Now this guy... We're going to start with this guy. Put some tape around. And maybe some steel wool. Just to get the shine back. Aladdin. How old was I in 1960? I was four years old. I was four years old, man. Forgive the air conditioner noise if you hear it. It is very hot in here. I think I have enough tape left. This is um, frog tape. I've had this quite a while. Let's uh, we don't want to scratch this at all, so go right up to the edge. It's so silly. I have I have that memory of um, the smell of apple. You know that apple smell. Okay. Press it. That's the color. That's the color we're going for. That's the color. Okay. Ta da! Let's try a little bone on me. You're in for a penny, you're in for a pound. You just want to keep it, you want to keep it to a small spot. Just in case something bad happens. Okay. Maybe that I don't want to use steel wool. Oh, I've got some fine steel wool. Oh. I've got some polishing like 40 steel wool. Do I want to do that? Yes. Yes, we do. Where are you? Where are you? Where's the steel wool? This is more likely to polish than to scratch. There you go, ultra fine steel wool. Bon ami. Let's try the steel wool. Just a little bit of water. A little bit of bon ami. We're just going to keep to the middle.
I don't know. This is a... Uh, this no. It's polishing it. Yeah, a little bit. Aladdin is shiny. Now, but that's going to be tough. That is very tarnished. Should we try some Barkeeper's Friend? Let's try some Barkeeper's Friend. Alright, we're going to try a little bit Barkeeper's Friend. Oh, that's tough. Oh yeah, it's working. Oh, Barkeeper's Friend is working! Okay. Okay, forget about Bon Ami. I love Bon Ami. I love Bon Ami, but Barkeeper's Friend is taking the tarnish off, maybe because of the oxalic acid. There is oxalic acid. And then we'll polish it with uh, Mother's Mag. Oh, hey. Look. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, I'm happy. I'm not going to show you the whole process, but we know fine steel wool and Barkeeper's Friend works. Let's just see if we can get a little bit of that shine back now with some Mother's Mag, now that we've got the steel. Just, just, let's see if we can make it shine. Oh, now we're getting to the real metal. Before it was all like oxidation. Oh, beautiful. Oh, I'm so happy. It's, we can make this look like new. Okay. You see? All right, so I'm not going to put you through the whole thing. But that's what we're going to do. Barkeeper's Friend and Mother's Mag. All right? <laughs> but that's what we're going to do. Barkeeper's Friend, Steel Wool, and Mother's Mag. Look at this. You ready? Oh. Is that pretty? Huh? Wow. All right, so to be clear, it's just steel wool, a little water, and Barkeeper's Friend, then polished with Mother's Mag. I've got a little bit of the trim done. I haven't done the trim here yet. You can see. See how dark gray that is? Pretty cool! What do you think? Okay, now there was a little rust inside. I scrubbed it with the steel wool. There's some corrosion. I think what you want to do though when you're done and it's dry is wipe some mineral oil inside. Just wipe it out with some mineral oil, and that might help prevent it from rusting further. That's so much nicer than the dark, than the dark trim. Now we're going to polish this with Mother's Mag. Oh, that's nicer than I thought. This should polish up so beautifully. Let's see what we can do with some Mother's Mag on this, on this beauty. Mother's Mag. Wonder Polish. I love these old aluminum topped ones. You know, they, they switched to plastic shortly after, but I love the shine of the aluminum ones. 
let's just take a quick look. Oh, lordy. Oh. Oh. Oh, isn't that pretty? Before, after. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Uh, I'm thinking mineral oil should be fine on the inside because you coat carbon steel knives with mineral oil. Maybe some, maybe some Vaseline would be better, but I don't have any, so for the time being, I'm going to wipe this out with mineral oil. Let's just pour a little bit in. Move it around. This may not stop the rust, but should really help. Make sure you've got it all coated. Wash your hands. Now let's put it together. That is so clean in there. I can't believe it. Make sure that's completely dry. All right. And you go. This side goes down. Very pretty. End of part two.